here. Live now. Welcome, ladies and gents. We changing ends here, or are we ready to go? We welcome all. I'm here with Rob Fay for the uh, quarterfinal of the British Open doubles. Looks like the warm-up is done, and we are ready to go. Fantastic. So if we introduce some of the players, so at the service end, we've got, oh, I think we're about to hear it from the marker himself. <laughs> what a match we've got for you today. This should be pretty interesting. paper a pretty obvious favorite down the other end Lou but yeah I think that's I a fair think, comment uh, I think the server is gonna make him work for it absolutely cracking start there from Ben <laughs> pretty impressive uh, name to pick out early doors both these pairs must have played together a fair few times before now I would have thought yeah, I would imagine so. Definitely seen the receivers playing together quite a bit. Yeah, we've got a bit of a Manchester team down this end with Darren, the uh, senior pro there, and Rob Shankman, a member there. Yeah. Teaming up. <laughs> good rally. Very good stuff. And straight on the board for Sayers and Taylor Matthews. Pretty, pretty early, pretty quick. Perfect there from Darren. Looks like this end uh, adapting a, a server up tactic. Yeah. I don't think either of them particularly stronger than the other up at the, up at the net or back, so they're taking it in turns. Interesting kind of Barbie aspect to uh, Shank's top there. The, the does, that say, does that say Shanks or Barbie? I can't, <laughs> can't tell from up here. It is that sort of logo, the, the Shanks Accountancy Cross Barbie collaboration that we never knew we needed. That's what that is. Good plug though, good plug. So far pretty, pretty standard main wall dead on return. Uh, uh, looks like we might need an early replay there, Ben. Divisive call. Ball called down and down along there. Yeah, I think he pretty was pretty sure confident he was yeah, up. Yeah. Tough to tell from here, but it, it didn't look too bad from where I was sitting. Yeah, even from here, I was, I'm was. i pretty confident. That's too good. Shank called him off that ball, and rightly so, putting away the winner. Okay, so looking at the draw. Uh, stats on screen, guys. Oh, we've got some stats on screen before we do that. Mr. Sayers, primary club Queens, right handed. That's slightly up for debate with his backhand. Mm -hmm. A little bit left handed, dominant with that one. But World Championship finalist 2009. These are all doubles, I'm guessing. We so did he do it twice in 2009? Maybe both. Yeah. Great start, good high serve on his court, it's very tough to deal with. So he's mastered that one in his various years working here. Yeah, he has always had an excellent high serve. Good 0-15, 15 I reckon, for bringing that serve. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty valuable. 
So the winner of this match will go on to play yourself and partner Nick Howe. So you came through against Levi and myself this morning in a, a straight sets victory. Good chance to get an eye on some tactics on how to take the winner of this one down in the next round. Great for us, Darren. Well played. Good enough. Ben Taylor Matthews also wearing the Barbie top. Yes, all sponsored, sponsored by Shanks Accountancy, I believe. I need to put my glasses on just so I can read that a bit better. Volley. We've got some quite garish colours kicking around today. We've got Ben Taylor Matthews' bright green racket, and we've got Darren with the luminous yellow strings and the luminous green shoes. Yeah, he would be lit up <laughs> in a nightclub right now. <laughs> seen him pretty lit up in very nice <laughs> clubs all over. <laughs> it's not an uncommon sight. After the event, of course. Oh. Shank has covered that. Good hold from Sayers. Nice Darren went up there but couldn't quite get a reach on it. A bit of an underused shot in doubles, that kind of cross-court ball there. Yeah, I think in, in singles there's so much value in the timbre and, and grill corner. Obviously, it doubles go. with someone. Some game points for the uh, boys for their first game. Someone sort of guarding the grill. The other player can try and deal with the tan, but it's, it's maybe a little bit harder to get a winner in that well, in that corner. Who we got now? Taylor Matthews. Oh, big birthday coming up next year. There we go. It's on the way. Some, Some impressive stats impressive there. Stats here. Won a couple of opens, well looks fit, French yeah. Open doubles. Yeah, very well. US Open doubles. No stranger to success in the doubles competitions by the looks of it. Not surprising really, I mean really steady kind of player in general. Perfect for doubles really, very few mistakes. Do you think that a, a sort of traditionally good pair needs someone to be a bit more attacking, or do you think a pair like Taylor Matthews and Sayers it's great serve. can have a lot of success nonetheless without either one of them being particularly attacking? Well, I think, you know, in their own right, both of them have got some weapons. Mm -hmm. they, I think their preferred style of play is quite conservative, but you, know, you probably know as well as I do when Ben and Bryn both decide to to let Rippets there. But I guess it also shows you like, you know, a good tennis shot is a good tennis shot, whether it's a fast ball or a well positioned ball. Yeah, that's very true. I think Bryn, in my eyes, very often makes a really hits his targets with a lot of accuracy, yeah. not necessarily much pace. Thing, like it's kind but of just drags you out of position, all of a sudden he's he's finding targets out of positions that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Great Two read from Bryn there, the home pro. That double-handed backhand is very effective. Oh, Darren nearly nearly got to the spin. Got a record on it, but sadly couldn't get that one over. Oh. One taking out to the windows, out of court. Very short bubble there from uh, Schenkers. Do you think that was partly on purpose? Looks well, like a gone for another one. Yeah. Oh, that was a great get. That was a great get. John Woods Casey done well there. If that's who's marking, by the way. I believe it is, yes. Um, I can hear the flip flops from up here. Yeah. Oh, oh, can't oh, afford those in these matches. 30 50. Oh, Doesn't really need to be that good, does it? You know, just no, 15 uh, feet up the timber, Meanwhile, was is just as good as six feet up, if not better. Yeah, absolutely. Again, doubles, slightly different dynamics. You know, well done, John, about 15 feet up, that, that is it. That's the shot we just talked about there. Yeah, right. 30 all. High timber. So often high timbers are actually better. So we think Shankman's hitting this bubble short. He definitely definitely is. is. Encouraging Brin to volley it. Well, I suppose if anybody studied all of the players on court, it would be Schenker's. Yeah, he's, uh, he's probably I think got his a own stat words, on, uh, bit of a badger is the phrase he's, uh, he tends to... Is that the one? Trademark phrase is someone that really uh, 
it sort of takes, yeah, <laughs> takes an interest in the in the players and the statistics and the just everything real tennis, frankly. And I think he is self-proclaimed the biggest badger out of all of the players. And probably Damn, all the other way. Goodness me, that looked quite a close shave. Everybody spot part. on in this point so far. Oh, That's a great point. Good heat everybody. for Darren. It's a good firm flat ball, Darren. It does. And his targets. His targets. I think as we've seen, seen on the stats during the week, they're absolutely. very good. A lot of dead ons, a lot of grills from Darren as ever. Dazzer again, flat back grill. No. Had a little bit of take. work on that one. Yeah. Again, very good from the service. Shanks with the good volley there as well, intercepting. Ben going for the galleries and just dragging it high slightly on that occasion. Great serve. Not sure about that, that was it. Could get nasty. Oh, that's a post, Dazzer. Come on. I think without squash background of his, he might fancy one of those. Back will post. A little bit longer with that side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Touche. Oh, Ben. Won't be happy with that. <laughs> Four runs by the looks of it, though. Yeah, it would have been nice on the cricket pitch. That's that yeah. one, that's Sayers. That's the one, yeah. Doesn't have to be that hard when you're that accurate. No. Drag down in that position. It's a real snap as well off that double header, isn't it? Yeah. There's no, it's not a long swing, it's just very difficult to do on the backhand for a right hand, but it just seems to nail it with that left hand becoming a bit more involved than the rest of us. course at Queen's is out of court. I heard Rob the other day that if it goes above the beams but doesn't actually go through one, that's, that's still in. Does. In between. So it can go in between. Can't go over. But can't go over. Here we go then. Stats for Darren Long on screen. Doubles world ranking. 12. Manchester professional. Age 35. Sporting the, the bright yellow tamar strings. US Open finals, that's a big result. 2018, that is an impressive result. I wonder who that was with, aren't we? Very steady French Open uh, results there. Yeah, pretty much put some money on his quarter final <laughs> <laughs> next year. Okay, better than three to beat. Advantage the receivers. Great volley. Yes! Oh, the fatal sin of the U call. Great pace really from Darren. Nice. Good shot. And a great return from Schenkers, you know. Yeah, set, setting up that point for Nothing partner. fancy, just a great little cut volley to a good length. Too much on it from Bryn there, it's a great shot. A little bit extra cut, yeah. make it difficult for all players involved. Oh, oh 
That's going to sneak Whoa, in. Oh, goodness, goodness me. Volley. What a volley. Juice. Good from Shankers. Rare big big hit from Shankers there. It was good. Yeah, I think right he's on target down the middle. Got it in the locker on occasion. Just doesn't seem to use it much. I think he. Well, he works hard in his fitness. He seems like a pretty oh. strong. I think he's very keen on it in his gym work. Oh, Rob Fayesque climb out the wall. <laughs> well done. He's got to sometimes just got to hack it back in doubles. Oh, he's, he's done exactly well that done. there. But Matthews has put that one away. Great, put away Incredible finish there. for the winning gallery. First one of the match. Oh. Didn't quite get on. Can't say too much. I hit quite a few of those today myself. <laughs> Does happen. 3 1 lead. Yeah, I think in doubles, I think I think there's definitely a bit more pressure to be a bit more positive and aggressive, and, and ultimately you're going to make hit more winners, but you're also going to make a few more unforced yeah. errors as well. Some untidy ones where. Yeah, it's, it's the ball wasn't the quite there to be ball. hit, but you've, <laughs> you've decided you're going to go for it. And how was that not a fault? There's a good example there, I think. Went up between the beams, didn't it? But yeah, didn't go, but over, didn't go over one. That's right. Wow, oh, another Ooh. couple of great little length serves here from Bryn. Oh, Ben. There we go. <laughs> Should be a little bit easier to tell them apart these days with a different from up hairstyles. Here, yeah, from up here it is. <laughs> Got it. Scraped it back. Good, you know, good you. solid cut shot there from Darren. It's a funny position up there. You get a lot of forehand volleys in that position, and it, it, you know we we kind of talked about it a bit earlier. It's, it's, it's hard to know what to do with that ball. Yeah. I Ben tried to boast that one, didn't he, to get... Oh, he's dodged that very <laughs> casually. <laughs> Nearly got him on the way back. Yeah, I think being up at the, the galleries there, it's like you say, you get some forehand volleys that they're kind of on you pretty quick. It's tough to control the pace. I think Ben's tried to boast that one off of the main wall and sort of give the yeah, uh, receivers an awkward, awkward play. But sadly, caught it a bit too early and found the net. We've got one of the pairs for the next match up here watching with us, Nino Moore and Henry Henman, yeah. talking tactics ahead of the they big match. Should, should be. The 6 p.m. Nino, of course, one of the few people to take a set off the world champ recently. The stat I, I heard was the first non-plus player to take a set off Camden since 2007. Since the great Dave Harms. Correct. It's a pretty cool stat. But even... Uh, Plus handicappers, I don't think there's been too many. <laughs> That's right. I think you've managed to take a few off at some key moments, but yeah, I lull him into a false sense of security. <laughs> you have been trying that, it doesn't really work, so for me at least. A really good steady start here. Yeah, they've sort of run off but to the four lead. seeds. Is that I think all the seedings were quite tight, I'm not quite sure how the numbers came out. They were the number four seeds, that's right, yes. So, going pretty well. Yeah, it's certainly living up to that. Just good, steady tennis at this point. Yeah, I think you're right. They've, they've not done anything too reckless and just tidy, solid. Making Darren and, and Shankman try and come up with something good, which they've not quite found enough to hurt them yet. Unlucky. Floating that volley out of court. A little bit of frustration from Shankman there. Not one to hide his emotions on court. He's pretty vocal. Good and bad. Oh, unlucky. Another good angle there from Bryn. Just, just quietly putting away, aren't they? Moving the ball around. 5-1 there. Just doesn't get it wrong, Bryn, does he? Just It's always in, yeah. it's always good. Error count's pretty low. <laughs> and I think that's a good ball. Oh, he's done well. Good pick up. Ooh. 
Come for the railroad yeah, volley. Old squash volley there. Yeah. Well good D from Shanks. Oh, that's going to be nice. Very good coverage from Dan. That's gone. That's that a great pace. That's very well played. Really good doubles play, just covering the missed main wall there by Darren. And then, as you said, perfect pace. Yeah, just didn't didn't get lulled in. Never going to too hard. Again, sensible doubles from Sayers. Taking the gallery. Look forward to the stats later on points served, percentage of service, and one. Thanks for quite interesting reading. Shout out to Mr. Gaten Beacon, the TNRA media team, for getting the stats and everything for us this year. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to watch and really valuable to learn from, actually, for players and, and club members alike. My left, that was going to be nothing short of a nightmare trying to get that. So, what do we think the Manchester pair of. Oh, some more stats. So the recent matches for Sayers and Taylor Matthews. A couple of the World Championships um, at Bordeaux. Came through in five sets against Rodden on Matcha. Great result there. A loss, to be fair, but Chisholm Riviere. Bunch of sets there. And the Manchester yeah, pair. These boys done. Mixed results. Got a win down the bottom. Yeah, against myself and Kemp. Yeah. And a loss to you. And a loss against Sayers and Gordon. So yeah, they've had some tough draws by the looks. Yeah, not, not easy out there. Old school cut shot that one. Yeah, took a chunk out the floor. What's the chase? I think we've got a second gallery chase. Again, Bryn just constantly at that Saracen and Partners. Oh, nice. Knows his court, doesn't he? he? Does, doesn't he? Why mess around? He must be practicing that against his members already. <laughs> Just middle of a lesson, hopeless. Double hand him. It's gone down as a winning gallery as well. Is it? <laughs> on, on the stats. Have to check the stats, man. Yeah, it looked like a pretty clear miss from up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a shot. Ooh, Ollie Pridmore down there. Skidding around. Oh, very sensible play to Great tennis, isn't it? Just, just 5% off making a dent, the boys. Yeah, it's amazing that 5% is the difference between, you know, this being 3 all or 5 1. Either way, just to make yeah, sure. Yeah. It did go up. Just clipped it. It did. Almost rolled along the wood. 40, right, so if they lose this point, are they going to switch? 6-1? It's kind of switching territory, isn't it? You would have thought so, yes. So currently I mean, of course, Daz could still... There we go. As I was about to say, he could fire 30, about 40. six dead-ons off in a row. He's certainly known for it. We've currently got Taylor Matthews serving to Darren. And for those at home that might not know, at the end of a set, it's the receiving pair. So the servers choose who serves first, and the receivers get to decide who they're against. That's fine now. It's game of the first set to the server, six games to one. This is always an interesting so thing. So let you go into Matthews a match with your tactics already set who you want, and then that happens, you're like, huh. Do we stick? And they are. So they're going for Matthew, so they're sticking. Interesting. So that tells That's me that they, they back their game plan, they just feel like they didn't execute it well enough there. That's a good ball. Yeah, I wonder if it's a serving or receiving thing. 
to think it was a I want to serve to him or I want to receive from him kind of thing. Or not receive from him as it may be. Yeah. I'm thinking possibly. Well played. Here we go. Positive start. That was a positive start. Saracen and Partners. Yeah. Played. Again, another good example. Yeah, halfway up the timbre there. Yeah, it's nice. Does not have to skim the net. No, and that's one of those, if if you miss the timbre there, then you're in grill temperature as well, aren't exactly. you? That's the whole point. If you're too low on the timbre and missing, getting your backhand punished. Nice stop volley. Oh, unlucky. A brave leave. Not much carry on, but sensible oh. choice in the end. Time oh, unlucky from Britain. Caught that perfectly. Caught it too well. Clubbed it out. Again, good, solid cut shot. Does the trick. Rich coming from me, I appreciate that. But there's still yeah. room for a good cut shot in this game. I'm not sure I'm in a position to talk much about cut shots either, frankly. Here we go. Is this a left handed forehand or a double handed right hand backhand? Oh, oh, it's fair. There it is. Sponsor's getting a serious workout for the ring. Plug. Just looking in full control of that lady, wasn't he? Just, just didn't look in too much trouble at any one stage. Yeah, he's a different beast on this court. Mm. Do you think that it, it suits his style of tennis particularly, or is it just a matter of the fact that it's his home court? Oh, I think it's both. Like he can, like I said, he can serve so well on this court, and then you know from there he's steady, and it's That's good. Okay. If you don't give people opportunities on this court then you know, you're going to do well. Yeah, got some more stats from the first set here. So you see all of the targets coming from the Sayers-Taylor-Matthews combo and winning over double the amount of points of the Manchester team. Yeah, uh, that yeah, definitely looks, looks like... Quite uh, interesting yeah, yeah. again, we had that conversation today about this court, didn't we? Like, is it actually a service court, this? Yeah, I think we were touching on the fact that it's difficult to contain the receiver. Good oh, good call. Very good call. Lost the chase and the game. That's the first game with the second set to the receivers. One yeah, I think you know we're always taught you want to be at the service end the whole time, and always certainly as much as possible. Whereas actually, I think partially the court and partially the fact we're playing doubles here, it, there is an argument to be had that being at the receivers end is not such a bad thing. No. Yeah, I don't think there are too many courts where you would say that, but I would definitely say it's I wouldn't like to say it's better to be at the hazard end, but I think it's less clear. Yeah, it's it's a sort of grey area on on this court in the, in the doubles game because at the same time you you know you might think to yourself oh, that looked like a fault, but yeah, I thought I might have clicked on the way up. Um, again, tough to say from here. We'd never doubt the marker. <laughs> 30, you you sometimes think, yeah, we're doing really well at the hazard end here. You know, let's stick it out, and then you know, you, you take four quick games in the teeth, and you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> that didn't work so well. Yeah, that's definitely a factor. Because you have patches where you can dominate from the service, and you're like, oh, maybe it's the service end. And sure enough, you lose the next four games from there. It's, it's a brutal oh, call. Oh, like fantastic shot from down there. Lovely ball. Nice one in gallery. 40, 50. The first of the match for this pair for Manchester. to leave the hazard there. Shankman head in hands. Definitely a uh, case of um, 
accuracy over pace though isn't it here absolutely I fault mean fault oh here we go that's the fault did it clip the edge mm, tough to say for certain but it does look need to like see the second bounce that looks low but anyway I don't think it was a, a pivotal at point. this point, it's not going to cost anybody too dearly. Roland Shankman, a couple of points to get on the board in the second set. I think that's that's where Rob needs like a, a big hit, isn't it? Yeah, that, that loose railroad, he needs to be able to do something a little bit more positive than that. A bit more chase. A bit more rotation, just let, let rip. Get stuck in. It's done well from there to fair. You're right though, yet again an example of Sayers setting up a good point with a, a great serve. Yeah, a good three quarters up the timber there. Shot. Could be nasty. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Sayers <laughs> masterclass. Goodness me. A full left-handed shot. I'd love to see a replay of that. Uh, that uh, Gentlemen, we say galleries, if we could have silence during play, please. Gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Advantage service. We say that uh, Sayers is right-handed, but... It's yeah. not uncommon when he's at full stretch to see him just release the right hand yeah. and go full lefty. He saves a lot of grills with that left hand. Yeah, I played him in the singles of this very event. Oh, he was infuriating. Heat from Darren. He really can hit the ball quite firmly, can he? Yeah, he's definitely got a good, uh, good bit of pace in the locker. Good defensive volley that time though from Taylor Matthews. I think he had a sense it was coming. Needed both hands. Discussing this ball. Yeah. Ben looking like he's going for some sort of main wall grill attempt there, but it's just not the angle, is it? It's going to miss inside edge and come out to the other player every time. Careful there. It's a shot from Sayers there, you don't see too often. Boast off the service wall mid rally over towards the grill. I mean, you don't really see that shot too often from anybody. I guess Vagona is kind of the only guy that seems to yeah. trademark that one. Defending the dead on. Oh, that's a lovely return that. That's classic Schenker's that. Quite a long game this one, I think. You know, you'd be pretty, pretty happy to get on the board in the set if you're long shankman quite disheartening to go two love down at the end of this what's been quite a long battle we're at the fourth juice now again perfect from shankers straight yeah. set up Darren nicely didn't it that shot from Schenkers Brent did well to dig it out set up Darren and then it was some very good defence from the, the service end that yeah. kept him in the point but it was a quite a nice yeah. play from the receivers yeah that first ball just kept them kept them on top the whole rally didn't it yeah absolutely oh. right just no mistakes here receivers that's a good ball again 
another mystery forehand volley. Yeah, he's done well there. Have that, that Bryn lefty for you. Well, let's have a look at it. We've got the replay of the Bryn left-hander. Here we go. Bryn says plus five right-handed. About plus five left-handed. Down the other end, commenting on his left-handed shot. Here we go. Watch Darren after this. Good defence. Sets Darren up a little bit though. So. Okay, it's not yet. <laughs> there it is, full stretch. And then winning gallery. Oh, we don't get to see Darren's left hand Juice. shot. First chase is better than the last gallery. Better than last. Right. There we go. Yeah, just a couple of good solid points here. One all after a long game. It's always good to win the long games. Absolutely. They become slightly you know, Bit a bigger there, deal than than the actual one game that you get for it. Yeah, emotionally it feels a lot more valuable. Oh, that's good to Oh, well done, pick. Ooh, well done. In is good. It's tough. Well done. That's well played from Sarah's good, good finish. But again, we see a point there, just a, a classic second. cut return. Second second and the servers just never got into the point, did they? Yeah, they was on the back foot of that one. We'll have to change tactics. Well, so a little bit of offense of his own there. Uh, feels like it was a big game, doesn't it? It was a long game, a lot of juices. And now on the wrong end of a two love game score. Here we go. Matthew's going up there to cover the winning gallery. Shankman Bryn doing his best not to hit a forehand into Ben's face there. Oh, good defence. Oh. Trademark down wrong. Another grill to add to the, the count for the week. Unbelievably, they're first in the match so far. Come on. Just on him a bit quick, wasn't it, that one? He didn't quite move his feet as well as you expect to see from a player of that calibre. Ooh, long serve now. What's Ben going to do with it? A little mullet there from Shankers. Bit of wood, never hurt anybody. It's a good ball. See, less pace creates an opportunity off that timber. Lucky, what a great rest. Had a good Fantastic last one, tennis there. Brilliant match. Good appreciation from the dead on there. 30 all. Chase one and two, 30 all. Ball down, chase one and two. So force the error. Another game point here. Can they convert this one? Yeah, it's, it's not like they haven't had a few chances. No, I, I it's a little five percent, isn't it? Just I definitely find, you know, when you play against those those sort of seeded pairs that you there's a few games you, you feel like you get into the game, it's close, you get a few chances, and then they pinch it. And then all of a sudden another game goes by without, you know, even getting a sniff. It feels so important to win the tight ones. 
as soon as you lose a few of those as well as the ones you get waxed in then all of a sudden you're three love down before you <laughs> yeah. before you even sort of really feel like you've had any real shot got some stats here on the winner galleries oh the Faye's dominating we've got Rob Faye and Mick Howe yourself with the seven and then Claire Faye and Lewis Gordon is that just today second <laughs> I've only been here one day well there we go it's, it's just a, just today for you alarmingly I've played two matches and we're still not <laughs> Still not there on the winning gallery count. Mind you, I do go for about a hundred a set, so it's not a great number. I understand you quite like to finish your singles world championships with one by yeah, the time. Yeah, I mean, give me a chance. I'm going to ring the bells. <laughs> oh, again, good pace. From good down. heat from down. And there they go. Game on the board, one two. One game, two second set. Could be two one. I think I'd just be happy to have secured that one and got back to winning a few games again. Oh, actually, interesting. After one of those long, long games, you can you can lose a couple of quick ones if you're not careful. True. A little bit of frustration yeah. at yourself at making a, an error Quite or a good effort just to actually come conversing. back and pinch one there. Yeah, absolutely. It's good mental skill to you know either lose a set or lose one of those long games and just be. You know, put it straight in the bank and get on with the next game. Oh, that's a good value. Well Brinny, right in the money here. Boom. Oh, a little bit high. What's Darren got? Great folly, Ben. Read that to perfection. See, I think you know, that, that volley from Bryn looks pedestrian, but he's, he's able to take the pace off it so well. Sure, that was going in Schenker. Great Bit effort. of panic from Schenker's there. Fantastic yeah, rest all round. Was definitely tight. Taylor Matthews looking pretty solid yeah, up at the net there with some good volleys. And the exhibition shots now. Yeah. Just another little home court thing that there, isn't it? Just bring. Never looks like missing that volley off the main wall. Yeah, that's just good. Oh, a lovely good finish shot Taylor right Matthews. there. You saw that Darren had backed away from the grill, leaving it open to attack. Oh, bad luck. I think that's been his best shot for me so far, Schenker's that yeah. cut volley. And it's so very consistent. accurate. You know, not not devastating, but certainly setting up points. Getting forcing a few racket errors. I think Darren might be better off just going straight. Mm -hmm. Too many main walls. He can't help it, that's what he does. Mm. He's a main wall dead on machine. He is. In singles, but you're right, he's had some success with the straight forcing today. In doubles, I think it's. It's a tougher ball to deal with. The straight? That, of course, is That's the risk with the straight one. That is the issue right there. Yeah, fairly quick game there to go 3 1. It's called in. Little exhibition attempt shot there. Yeah, went, went big. Didn't quite make it. It's the, it's, the, it's the draw of the bells. Just want to be on one oh, of Ben's leaderboards. Another stat there for, for Darren. Building an impressive week of stats, that's for sure. Oop, took a little divot on that one, but it's still got it in. Oh dear. That work a few punters up in the mezzanine. That one. Oh, that's good ball. Good ball. Oh, nice control it, there. Had it. Very nice good control. Good. Well, that 
turned out better than it should have. Great serve. It's always going to be, wasn't it? Classy. So we've, we've seen so far this this doubles event a few full PK serves, and you will know better than me. But it's a serve I feel like I, I didn't see for about five years, and then all of a sudden, twenty years I think. Uh, yeah, it's I think in the Bordeaux World yeah. Championship it became. Oh, what are we looking at here? This is the full PK from Matthews that was close to the line, close to short. Tough to tell. Mm, certainly close enough that I'm not going to doubt the marker there. No. But uh, yeah, it sort I of would fell instinctively off call that a fault just to stop people serving it there. But fell off the fell off the map a little bit, and then now all of a sudden it it's the day of those serves really really well. good. I think the lefties have a big advantage where they can rip in the short one or the big one. Okay. Um, and in the the, the doubles world championship in Bordeaux, it, it proved to be a really effective serve. Okay. to the receivers. Lead by four games to one. Second Taking four one. on lead there. Do you think that that, that serves sort of go in runs where no one serves it for a little while and then all of a sudden it sort of appears and gets used a lot? And it, Have you seen that with any other serves or are there any serves you think might be making a comeback anytime soon? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably overall, <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh. But it is a little bit court dependent. You know, I think if you, if you go to, you know, what I would call a... I suppose a, cl a classic style court, you're going to see railroads. Uh, again, we kind of chatted about it earlier in the bar, like, if you've got aggressive serving options where you can maintain control of the point, you're going to use them. Okay, yeah. Um, but you, you know, it doubles a bit more. You, you're kind of trying to put something defensive in. And then again, you put on top of that queens difficult place to serve mm -hmm. so I guess you know I think I think in the doubles in this tournament we see a lot more creative serving than we would almost anywhere okay you know, lots just of people testing spinny things and testing, testing out options just because there's no there's no clear obvious yeah. great serve here yeah you don't have a nice tight railroad to a nice easy volley to start the point right it's like okay let's hope something is half good enough <laughs> to stop a missile coming at me. Yeah, it Lost looks like Prince seems to have 15, found that with that high serve. He's, he seems to be the, the guy that's really sort of got to grips with serving at Queen's. Yeah, and in the old days, right, it was all boomerangs. Because again, the penthouse takes a great boomerang. Yeah. And it was brutal, you know. It's just It was the most boring thing you'd ever watched. So that... that was fully in play and, and legal for a period of time, was it, before that was Well, obviously decided? it's still fully legal, but I think everybody appreciated the damage that it, that it did to the game. Um, you know, whereas now you see all these spectacular rallies. You know, I remember 90, early 90s British Open matches, we'd all be playing in two cricket sweaters <laughs> and, long, and long strides because you'd be freezing to death because there were no rallies. Well, thank goodness it's changed. Well, you still get the odd person saying, like, you know, you should be able to serve broom rings. And I agree, you know, if you want to ruin the game, fill your boots. Yeah, I think it's it's good that unreturnable serves are not, you know. Yeah, purely down to a quirk of the court, right? Yeah, exactly. I think you give me this, like, skill thing. And I'm like, well, on this court, you can close your eyes. Wander up and uh, bang a few aces in. Yeah, I'm not sure that's healthy. Led to a a big article in the Times. Actually, it wasn't so much the boomerang itself, but it was the uh, it was the the way we went about getting rid of it. Do you, do you care to elaborate on that? A bit of polish might have come out. And suddenly the, uh, suddenly the penthouse was yeah, and, uh, not taking it quite well. couldn't serve a boomerang anymore. And there was a bit of a mystery behind how the penthouse, or who, who had cleaned the, the penthouse that day, is that right? Yeah, it happened on more than one occasion, but... 
Yeah, the blame was kind of spread around the place. Uh, but need to say, we had the best British Open we'd had for years. So whoever did that, congratulations to take my head off. <laughs> We've got a 5-1 juice here. Oh, no we're not, 15 love. Again, pretty competitive set, but just... It's not getting on the scoreboard, are they? Oh, slow. you can see why the shots like that. Amazing, isn't it? Say is looking very calm and collected today. Very few errors. Probably taking a bit of confidence from his singles victory yesterday. Yeah, that was a good, very good result for him. Yeah, no, I mean not a massive surprise, but certainly comprehensive, a, I think. Yeah, certainly a match. You know, you historically you'd expect to be fairly tight. Ben obviously ranked slightly higher than Bryn. First bounce are better than second there, that's good pace. What are we looking at here, Ben? Let's have a look at this replay. Oh, he's gone the Darren's volley of the return. Is that going to be a fault? It's going to be pretty I would close. Question there, was it? it was going to be pretty oh close. Oh, lovely. And then just finish it, to be sure. Not even a hint of, like, I didn't mean that. He's just walked back, grabbed another ball. Thanks very calm and collected, doesn't he, this whole match. It's like he's having a training session out there. Yeah. That was messy like. <laughs> Alright, several set points here for a two love lead. And there they take only the need the one. And second set for the receivers. Service points one, Sayers Taylor Matthews 63%, Darren Robert 30%. And my guess is that's about the same at the other end. What are they going to do then, Rob, to, uh, to change the narrative here? It's one of those awkward things where you, you feel like you need to press you know, when you're playing someone who's on paper better than you. You think oh, I need to play at my very best, if not beyond. Yep. And of course, it's the opposite. You know, you've got to you've got to trust in what you, what you have. And you know, they, that first set, they had good chances just by playing the way they play. Yeah, it felt like first first three or four games in that first set felt fairly tight overall. And, and it's, it's not until you push the accelerator down a bit harder that things get away from you quite quickly. Things like that, you know. Yeah, just you just put it on target. You don't see I Darren mean, miss that sort of goal too often. Maybe he did that on purpose, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Bryn was going to trip on that crack and uh, dump it in the net. That really is looking forward. All right, here we go. So we've got game points early on in the third. This is the start of the comeback, I feel. The other end might have just might have dozed off a tiny bit. Oh, Ooh. good shot. Slotted that one in, he bottom did. corner. Yeah, that, was, that was slower than his cut volley. Yeah. Actually, one fifth. One thing Darren doesn't do, actually, is he does not defend that, does he? The main He's one. looking for the miss. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think he's so I mean confident... He obviously defends some of them, but... So confident his ability... See what I mean? He's off the bat wall covering the miss that... Flash of the Bryn Sayers there. Yeah. <laughs> here we go then. Stats for set two. What do we got here? Not a massively, you know, not tons and tons of stats. I, I touched on this one. I did some commentary the other day that in the, in the doubles you don't see so many stats just because there's obviously someone defending the grill. You've got someone defending the dead on. It's a bit harder to get through the players. Uh, the big number there, quite different to set one, is that the Sayers and Tony Matthews served a lot more in this set. Mm. Also, that chase average is pretty telling. Yeah, chase the line. You're not going to win too many sets with a, a seven or eight yard average chase difference. Yeah, certainly leaving a few hazards and not getting tons past Bryn at the back. Nice. 
Got some chat. Apparently so. Gonna see if I can. It's gonna be boomerang chat, to my guess. One love, well done. Shankman Long, take the lead. Get another great serve from Ben. Oh, and an even better inside out forehand volley. That is ridiculous. <laughs> A few interesting, uh, interesting comments in the chat. Oliver Vadana, shout out to Vadana from uh, Middlesex. Can't believe the goat is commentating. Great start to my afternoon. It's great of you to acknowledge me, Oliver. But uh, <laughs> don't forget, Rob's here as well. <laughs> Important to remember that. Uh, Mr. Dodgson, shout out to Josh in uh, New York. Yeah, big shout out to Josh. An absolute all-star commentary box. Looking forward to some insightful words, lads. Chances of an upset. I mean, it'd be a hell of a comeback from here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not still on for it, Josh. Not many players can come oh. down from a two-set deficit. Great left hand there from Brim again, but Schenker's equal to the task. Slots it. Many more dead on. Chris Ailey. Lewis, is this a highlight of your real tennis career? It's, it's got to be up there. Um, Chris, do some work. <coughs> that was my thoughts exactly. Meant to be teaching the next generation. We've got our IRP, yeah. Nick Jameson. Meant to be coaching him, not watching real tennis. And he's yeah. slating me on the country. <laughs> Nice defence there. Where's he going? Base timer? Winning yellow. The sensible choice. Yes. Bit of frustration from the receivers yeah, down there. Yeah. It's creeping in. Playing quite well there, Darren, but I think he's done so well in the singles this week, Darren. He probably he feels like he should be having more of an impact here. Yeah, he had a fantastic match to me with Nicky Howe. Going all the way to five. Come on, you, can you turn on that? I mean, you turned on a couple today. That oh, it's an interesting one. That I, I oh, again. I mean, Ben, where are the stats on Brinsman? Go. He must have taken me over by now. Game to the servers, one game all for That's uh, Brin and Ben's. And he's got two left-handed ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting one. Turning on that on that board. Is that a, is that a shot you see value in? I don't see yeah, many definitely. players do it. You know, obviously we see Vagona turning a lot, returning serve. And Cam, obviously. And Cam. But as and they're going in every direction from now. From but but what about the right-handers? Is there much value in that? Has to be. Because it, it feels like it's only me that does it. Well, I think, you know, you know it's just we've only been playing this game for 800 years, so... <coughs> Not everybody can figure this stuff out. Well, you, you know, we see... Uh, Damn, see a lot of turning a bit of applause there. I see a lot like of turning a bit. paddle. So obviously, you know, you and I have both played a little bit of paddle in our times, and it, it's something you see a lot of in that sport. That corner, in particular, round the corners, always turning, turning yeah. to, you know, hold position. Um, and you know, as as you say, I, I did a few today, and I tend to do a few singles and doubles. Well, I think today, I think you had a hundred percent strike rate with it. Nicky, uh, maybe I should have done a bit more often. Didn't, didn't. Pick that straight one that you oh come on Ben, let's have the stats. <coughs> They're coming up, Rob, you've got to keep your wits about you. That's got to be triple figures. That's seven for Sayers and Tony Matthews this match. Oof. That would have taken out the marker, I think, if, uh, if we had one there. I think Mark Ryan would have just caught that from his stool. Oh, damn. Building on his stats this week. Very impressive. You know what it is with Darren, right? He's been in a s in several um, employment situations where he's had no one really to practice with. Ooh. And so, you know, you do just go on court and you smash targets. And it shows you how good you can get. Yeah, no, that's a, f a fair point. So you think, oh, goodness me. Oh, oh no. that's unlucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do not see that too often. What a strike that was. He struck that, an absolute beauty. It's hit underside of dead on and bounced over the net. Again, we can um, see a replay. And actually, in Australia, that is actually chased the line. Because basically, it's ridiculously unfair. You should lose a point like that. I, in Australia, that's chased the line. That's chased the line. You learn something new every day, people. That's I mean, you're, that's you're, you're, you're I did 30, not know. you know micro millimeters from 
from hitting the dead on of your life. Instead, you've lost the point. And, and what about if you hit like high battery wall and go straight over, or penthouse? And go straight over? I mean, that's not close, is it? That's no, no, but that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think bando is the same. Is bando that right? Over so is so bottom, bottom ledge and bando, yeah. and goes over. Yeah, it's deemed that it's too good a shot to lose a point. Wow. Ted Cochran, I'm pretty sure, did that. There we go. Shout out to the Cochran family. But that is it. That's the extreme example of us harsh losing a point. Yeah, but that is bonkers. <laughs> He's hit an absolute yeah. blinder. And From like three foot up the middle of the court. Somehow real tennis comes out with a point lost. Go on, Brent. Oh. So again, some nice play here from the. Come on. Ooh. Get this game. Could see a fourth. Yeah. Well, there's a water bottle hanging out of first gallery there, I think. Second ben was clearly uh, lining up the straight drive there. Yeah, maybe he was going for the. Lewis Gallery looking. Uh, Lewis, <laughs> uh, Lewis Williams looking for the, uh, the gallery ledge boast. Yeah, something. Don't want to hit the water bottle. Only the most talented player is going to attempt that sort of sort of shot, Rob. You don't see that too often day to day. Twice in a match is pretty unheard of. Well, I think once is unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could offer me a million pounds. Oh I don't think I'd be able to do it again. Ben a few of those today, like no pace, just really good hits the spot. Maybe copying a bit of his partner's style there, with yeah, you know, just finding off. the target. I think if this goes to four, you'll be using two hands by the end. <laughs> <laughs> They're slowly merging into more and more the same player. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely, tidy little shot. Big pick up. Kshinkers, where are you? Here he is. Oh, just about on target for the sponsors. Great point though. Ended up being a bit tight and nasty that one on the battery wall. In the chat we've got Petworth House Tennis Court. Is this Jurek doing the accounts again? It must be, but he's, he's not appreciative of the Aussie rule. A silly Aussie rule that one, he says. <laughs> well he never like hit the ball hard enough to get one back over, so he doesn't he doesn't know the feeling. <laughs> Doesn't happen when you float in that main wall, does it, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> the Kevin Sheldon. He also doesn't miss him in fairness, so. There you go. Ooh, ooh. I think we've had an edge off Robert's racket there into Darren's. Not much of an apology, just a where did that hit you from Shankman? It's hard, you do instantly see red when that happens. Despite how apologetic your partner is, you still want to kill them. <laughs> That can happen. Oh, a little bit of frustration there. Like seeing red. <laughs> Come on, don't let that mist that mist settle there, Darren. Doing all right in this set. Need to keep it together. Mm. Is it affecting him a little bit? Yeah. Frustration. Chest. We've just Thank had confirmation there. He took it in the chest. He's a braver man than I, as you do. Oh, that's tight. Oh. And then that just to add insult to injury, the, yeah. the flush back wall. To the receivers. Receive lead by three, games to one. Come on, then, what have they got? That's it. Can they piece something together? Snuck out to three one. Again, yeah, just very sensible, very so very solid, very few errors. Here we go. Again, there's that mystery for him volley. Oh. 
Wow, God. good heat on that high back end there. It's a rotator cuff nightmare. Oh, good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Goodness me, it's getting dangerous out there. It's only a one-way ticket to A&E. Oh, it's balls are flying everywhere. Who needs to make the semi-final? Goodness me. Was it? Unlucky. it just clipped, just Isn't clipped. It? It's tough to see up here, isn't it? It's a little bit tricky. Don't get the best angle for everything. It's great oh. for the board spots, though. Solid. Oh, dear. Didn't quite move your feet enough on that, did he? Oh, great defence. Great, yeah. yeah. One and two, what are they calling that? Very good get from Darren there. What have we got here? This is this the uh, the hit on Darren's oh, chest. Here we go into the chest. We got one from the other end. It doesn't look violent enough oh. from there, Ben. Thanks for that. Goodness me, that was. Here we oh, go. Here this is a better view. Ooh! You see him putting his face away. Gentlemen, that that's going to hurt. Oh. Of course, you won't see it in that mass of tattoos. That's just going to be. Uh, Black on black. <laughs> We've got all the legends of the game joining us up. Yeah, Steve Agona and John Lumley just coming to view a bit of the tennis from the top. Talking of double superstars, here they are. $50. Tough game against my wife today, boys. Second gallery. Okay, second gallery to beat. Darren fresh from taking ball in the chest. Oh, look at that. That's a little. Well done. Oh, I missed it high. Wasn't much in that. Strip roll, Nick. No. Oh, lovely put away. Oh, beautiful main ball, though. That's what he's known for. That yeah, is. Ben will no doubt give us those stats eventually. I've been asking for a bit now. What's that? This is this game now. I want the week. The week's dead on stats. It's got to be coming. I don't know if the if the singles and the doubles are treated separately though from a stats point of view. Oh, he's gone for the man. Sharp brim. That's Steve Vagona esque. <laughs> Just on that right shoulder where you can't get at it. <laughs> Absolutely. Unless you're Alistair Lumsden, that's right in the middle of the chest. <laughs> <laughs> no reaction at all from Steve, he's clearly ignorant. Deny, deny, deny. Well, I think that's Bryn's first miss on the winning gallery. He's had some pretty good numbers, isn't he? Come here's another chance. Tickle. Might be something for Lumley to watch out for in the singles. Say, is the winning gallery machine. It's not made it. It's that high timbre again you were talking about, Rob. Mm -hmm. It's a great shot. All you members at home, you've got to start banging that thing just tight on top of the net. Get it in the air. Good defensive volley. Oh, oh that's nice. Good. good dig. Where's this going? Straight at the sponsors. Oh, goodness me. I think that that's nearly clocked him. Let's just miss one ear and then just miss the other ear on the way back. Lucky he's had a good skin fade this week, otherwise I could have caught him. That definitely would have got my hair. <laughs> oh, some stats here for us. The dead on count. Claire Fay Lewis Gordon leading the way on the dead on count. Wow. I mean, uh, Claire's been like banging a few dead ons in, but that's crazy numbers. Yeah, I mean, Gordo's hit a fair few himself as well. Do you, think, do you think it's Gordo? I'm not sure. I think it's a team effort. I guess you've got to say that, haven't you? Otherwise, you might be in trouble at home. Can't acknowledge that. Winning galleries. You're still leading the way. Yeah, no. Well, Sayers I've hit a couple in this match. Sayers and Taylor Matthews. Are, uh, I think Ben's... One away. Ben's putting a few on the me here. 
4 1. They're going to need something special quick if they're going to stay in this match for much longer. What's the, what, what would you change right now? Oh. Apart from your partner. Commentating <laughs> partners. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's one of those, isn't it? Do you, do you go. My, Come on, Shankers. My I default think, in this scenario would be go for more into this game. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He's not taking a, a major role as he Darren he's seems to be. I think he's got himself a, into a bit of a, a negative, passive mindset, passive role here, and he needs to step up. I mean, he, so ste he stepped up a couple of games ago, and he nearly killed his partner. So maybe that's. <laughs> so how, how would you do that? Get him at the back of the court, or taking a maybe give maybe him a, run a few at the back, balls? or just you know, even the even the misses off the penthouse. You know, you kind of. Yeah, I think like yeah, a few of those go to your partner. Set, their set tactic. Oh, that's a great shot. The set tactics that's one of Darren the problems hits here. Because Darren's covering that instead of Rob. If it's in, it's in. Yeah, so Darren arguably should be covering the main wall and leaving Rob yeah, to sweep yeah. behind. Yeah. Shankers does them up and up. Which is, which is what he's good at. Yeah. What about serving choices? Is there anything there? Anything obvious to you that you think you'd, you'd change? Has Shankers tried much higher stuff? I haven't seen I mean kinda again it kinda depends if you haven't actually ever done it then now's probably not the time but I, I think he's Oh it's good, effort. good for line. That's her going up. Yeah. Again just strikes yeah. it in there, doesn't he? He's like a snooker player. <laughs> in in what sense? Just you know, he doesn't hit it too hard. Just puts it in the right spot on the cushion, in it goes. Tom Durak slightly upset about our comment. Harsh but fair. Which bit about the, the no work or the very very good question. Or the I mean pace. I think both might might well be applied <laughs> for. <laughs> We're giving you a hard time, Tom. We'll we know you work very, very hard. And actually you did you brought some heat in the day. Or was that when he was doing the, the dinner for half of the National League matches? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there was much heat going on, on court, but a lot of effective tennis, we'll give him that. Oh, here we go. Testament to the fact you can get to scratch without 30, too much, 40, too much well pace. 30-40, there you go. Like, yeah, scratch is a good handicap. Tom, was a, he was a great player. It's I mean, I, I hesitate to say some of us. he is a good player, but I have noticed, Tom, the handicap's drifted a bit. Just a tad. I'm sure he'd be mounting a comeback soon, post-injury. Oh, that's a great serve. Uh, nothing beats a great bobble at Queen's, I tell you. It seems to spin backwards almost. 5-1. Come on, the ones. Very symmetrical scoreline so far. Oh, that's an interesting one. Is that in? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, the damn yeah, thing. see, Darren's asking for a fault. Fault on a. Lumley's with me. Lumley thinks it was good. Yeah, well, you guys are new to the game. <laughs> <laughs> so new that we don't need the glasses to see everything. It's only the scoreboard I need, but probably. Oh, go on. Oh, well read from Matthews. Listening to Cam on the commentary the other day, scathing of that little shot down the line. Didn't like it, did he? Didn't, Didn't like, it. like it. That was in my match, I think, because I watched that back. Le Levi Gale, my partner, yeah, yeah. hitting a lot of backhands down the line. Cam, I just he felt it was a little bit negative maybe or well, certainly not positive enough yeah they probably are more positive but I think it you, know, you don't lose control of the rally do you when you play that shot but he maybe he's talking about you know I think a bit more cut yeah a bit more something Levi was just nudging it just kind of nudging it down the line wasn't he but yeah, the world champ was just was giving him conniptions. Darren going route one here. It's a great road. In order to save much weight, I mean, it's worked for you in the <laughs> singles world champ. <laughs> Occasionally works for me as well. See, it's not that bad, is it? Oh, that wins a point. Okay, that's a good ball there. But you know what I mean? Maybe you had a bit more work on that one. A bit more, what I mean. more schwaz. I on think that one. maybe the world champion was complaining about the lack of 
schwires as you would put it that's trademark now the goats using some of my phrases look like that love to hear your thoughts in the chat on the, the swaz it swears is it there's no h don't know I'll make it up as go <laughs> oh, oh me bounce. what a bounce thank you wow <laughs> I think that's it? how you bring up match point right you even say it feels a bit bad about that one I mean, you could have almost called that a hazard it rolled so bad fourth match point they're going to convert this one oh good cover Finish it. Just a draw level. Fantastic Nicky play. Howe. Well played. Well, if I'm honest, that's that's that was a, a more convincing scoreline than I had anticipated. It was pretty comprehensive, really wasn't it? I mean, can't take it away from the winners there. They played a superb game of doubles. Yeah, I think experience telling there. They they just looked comfortable, looked at home. No issues particularly. Bryn just finding winning gallery at will yeah and it's so hard to cover that ball I mean we've got the match summary here look at eight winning galleries from the Sayers Taylor Matthews combo nine dead ons I mean you, you look at someone like Darren is infamous for finding the dead on but testament to Bryn and Ben defending it and, and finding waiting for the correct opening to really go for it so points served points served kind of evened up a bit yeah, I think the first set actually. But that percentage. Darren and Robert served actually a fair amount more than Ben and Bryn in the first set, and then the the second yeah. set was complete yeah. reverse. Yet the same scoreline. Chase's laid pretty low numbers. You look at, you know, it's a testament to the it's guys. Good doubles. Defense. Kind of, kind of length probably. Yeah, we've got hazard the line as an average chase. It's yeah, I've never seen that. I chase the door. I don't even know how you do that. Hazard the line average chase. Is oh. that just high back wall the whole time? I think it must be, <laughs> and plenty, <laughs> plenty, of <laughs> plenty of hazards out there. That's the thing, though, isn't it? You leave a few hazards and doubles that you maybe wouldn't in singles, and you know the yeah. average chase length soon takes a bit of a hit. Oh, we're on camera. Even Decent everybody. size. Then we've got John Lumley here with his, he his haircut. Him. Look at that trim. World number two. He's there, looking the biz as ever. Time to sign off, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. See you again at 6. Enjoyed that. 6 o'clock next match. We have got Henry Hemman and Nino Marola taking on Camden Riviere, Tim champs. Chisholm, the current world doubles world champs, and uh, number one seed. So that should be um, a good one. Stay watching. Nino Marola has won a set off Camden recently, so it should be a thriller. Awesome revenge. We'll see. We'll see you at 6 o'clock. Thanks, all.